I'm Angela Baker. I'm a visual artist, born and raised in Jamaica, and settled in Newfoundland in 1976. Yeah, that's better. When I'm working on a painting, I'm really trying to return to and recapture the emotions that I felt in that particular location. One of the most recent paintings that I've completed had the dawn light in the early morning coming over the mountain, but it made a, a banana leaf look absolutely translucent green. And um, that was really an awesome experience when I went back and saw that. My roots in Jamaica and my love of the Blue Mountains of Jamaica have drawn me back there many times. That visceral connection, it has a lot to do with childhood nostalgia and growing up in the foothills of the Blue Mountains. I think that's why I connected so well with the ruggedness of Newfoundland and did a very large series of works on the south coast of Newfoundland. Funnily enough, there is a certain similarity in the colours between the mountains of Newfoundland and of Jamaica, particularly when you're dealing with distances and things become very um, far away and pale blues. The colours were very much like the colours in this painting here. One of the connections and reasons why I did the South Coast series here in Newfoundland was that when I learned about resettlement, talked to the people who used to live in now abandoned communities, the whole experience of dislocation, of leaving the, your birthplace, the place where you belong, um, that really enabled me to connect and relate to the people that I met on the South Coast. I've been up every single fjord except two between Birdview and Hermitage. The people took me in boats and all they wanted was money for gas. So that was a great adventure. So now I'm kind of doing what many of them did there revisiting the abandoned communities. I am now going back to Jamaica and I think it has something to do with, well, it definitely has something to do with getting older. Now I'm in my 70s and I'm pushing 80. Um, I just feel the need to go back to what made me who I am.